Hi, this is Dan Cortapassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale PS1 boxcar with a 10 foot door from Katy. My model is decorated for Burlington Northern and represents a modernized car with cut down ladders and the roof walk removed. The newest date stencil on the car is June 1981, so it would be appropriate for layouts set in the 1980s or 1990s. As it turns out, I had a photo of this exact car, BN318-935, in my collection. The model appears to be a very close match, though some of the bracing on the underside of the car sticks down farther than it does on the prototype. This model has an MSRP of $37.95. I had to study this model for a long time to figure out if it was actually painted or just molded in green plastic. I think there's some paint on the model, or at least a clear coat, but it's extremely thin. In Katie's favor, the parts that are molded in green to match, match the paint perfectly. Not so great is the fact that the entire car is slightly translucent and the green is way too light. Painting the car interior black or some other color would help fix the problem with light shining through. Some weathering might help with the green color. The markings are crisp and the small writing is legible with magnification. The BN logo and lettering are not quite opaque and show some green through. If the car were weathered, this might not be so apparent. The ladders are freestanding and very delicate looking, though they're molded in a flexible plastic to help resist breakage. The stirrups are done in similar fashion, though they should also be green and not black as on the model. The doors on the sides open and close. The interior floor is made of metal for weight and has board detail. It would look better painted if you plan on displaying the car with the doors open. The ends also have freestanding ladders. The crossover platforms are see-through. These are plastic, but done almost as finely as a photo etched part. The car has uncoupling levers and air hoses. The B end also has a delicate brake wheel and chain. The car has KD scale couplers on both ends. Both couplers are high according to Katie's own height gauge. The underside of the car has full brake rigging. As I mentioned at the beginning, the side to side bracing under the car sticks down farther than anything I can see in the prototype photo. The general arrangement of the brake components seems correct as far as I can tell. The car has metal wheels with plastic axles. All of the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. The car weighs 4.5 ounces, which matches the NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length. Overall, this is a nice car that is mostly accurate to the prototype. It has a lot of detail. I am disappointed in the paint, however. The car is not the right color and the markings are not quite opaque. I'm going to take a spike for those things. Worse, the body is slightly translucent, making this expensive car look like a toy. That's another spike. I'm also going to take a spike for the coupler height. My final verdict is 7 out of 10 spikes.